Hi everyone, in this short video, I'm going to give you an intro to Zotero, which will help you with citations. But what exactly is it? Zotero is an open source tool that will assist you with research, specifically citations. It helps collect, organize, and share the sources that you find, and it will also help you format those citations in various uh, citation steps. First, let's talk about how you create an account. From the Zotero website, you will be able to click the register for a free account button and the registration page pops up. Pick a username, put in an email address, and also a password. Then click register. You will then have an account to get you started. But how do you use Zotero? How do you add sources and get it to help you create citations for a reference page? You will add your DOI, URL, ISBN, or other source information to get you started, and Zotero will pull in any information that it finds on the source from the web to get you started. Let's look at an example to see how this works. I'm on the Zotero homepage, and as you can see, there is an option to download Zotero on your computer so you can access sources that you found at any time when you're not connected to the web. However, today I'm going to work with the web library, which allows you to use Zotero's features within your web browser. So click the web library to get started. And this will take you to your library of sources. As you can see, I already have one article listed in here. To get started, it's a good idea to organize all of your sources in folders. To do so, go to my library on the left side of the page and click the plus button. Then create a folder for the project that you're working on. Press enter and you now have a folder to get started. But we need sources to put in this folder. So I have a source that I've pulled up here that I wanna use for my paper. What I'm gonna do is copy and paste the DOI into Zotero so it can pull information for me. The easiest way to do this is to click the little magic wand which is the add by identifier button. button. So click the identifier button and paste your DOI or URL in and press return. It might take a moment but it's pulling information from the web. So it's pulled a lot of information for us. It knows that it's a journal article. It has the title for us. It lists all of the authors, the publisher, the volume and issue number, the page numbers, and the publication date. So it's pulled a lot of information that will help you with your citation. Once you're ready to cite something, click on the uh, little stack of books and it'll create a bibliography for you. You can select which type of style you want your article to be formatted in and then you will get a citation that is mostly formatted in the way that it needs to be that you can add to your bibliography page. All you have to do is just copy it to your clipboard and then you would paste it to your bibliography page. This one was done really well. We have our authors, we have the publication date, we even have the title of the article with only the first word capitalized and then the title of the journal article is italicized. This 
isn't always how it works. If it pulls information from a website and the title is in all caps, that's how it's going to look here. So always double check whatever Zotero gives you, especially if you are using a web source. Those are really the basics of Zotero to get you started. If you have any questions about using Zotero or how to get started, please reach out to me or any of the other librarians at Georgia Highlands. You can email us at ask at highlands.libanswers.com. Thanks.